is good, everybody? Welcome back to another epic my day. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not epic. I'm I'm pretty pissed off, Brad. And I'll explain to you guys exactly why, why the title is what it is and everything like that. So if you guys have paid attention to the community tab, you would have noticed that I have been posting some images regarding MDT Live, the pick fed show that I've been working on, that I've been ready to get out. I thought it would be up much earlier than this, but with everything going on, the holidays and everything like that, we did get sit back on it. And you guys know we've only posted this when the, when the MDT MDT Live does go up. We're only going to get like two or three shows up this year, which is absolutely brutally awful. It's god awful. That makes me sick. But I think that once we get this show up, we are going to start rolling with it. So that's going to be excellent. I can't wait for that. But anyways, besides the point, so you guys know that on the community tab, I uploaded some images regarding the show. You guys saw the MDT Live ring. It had the Christmas lights going through the ropes. We had the decorative stage with the tree and the gifts and the snow and everything like that. So I figured how sick would it be to have a Christmas themed MDT live show, right? I'd be like, you know, how sick would it be? You can sit down with your family on Christmas. You know, you take 25 minutes, 25, 30 minutes out of your day. Sit down, watch some MDT as my gift to you. That was going to be my gift from MDT to the fans to put up a pick fed show because you guys have been awesome and waiting on the show. And I wanted to make it work. I wanted it to be on Christmas Day around 3 to 6 p.m. around in that area, that time frame, that window. I wanted to put that up as a gift from me to you for you guys being so amazing this year for all the love and support for the channel that it's gotten in 2020. So that was going to be my gift to you guys was a nice MDT pick fed episode. So all the ideas are running rampant in my brain. I wanted to take that theme and fit it into the script because you guys know the script's already written out for multiple episodes in advance and it's been like that for years. Like we've had it all written out. It's just finding the time to sit down, do it, and then get the editing done and all of that stuff. So with that being said, I tried to take the Christmas theme, my script that we've written out over the years and merge those together to make it fit and make it make sense. So that was what we did. So knowing that, knowing that I had to get the arena set up for Christmas and get all these extra little things to make the show work, combining it with the Christmas element, since we did that, I had to order stuff, right? I'm ordering stuff. I'm going to Hobby Lobby. I'm going to these places to get stuff in preparation because I know what I have the vision in my head and I if it doesn't match up with the vision and I have to wing it and do something off the wall, it's not going to be, it's something that I'm not going to like really. It's not going to come out the way I want and it's not going to come out as good or as I planned it. On top of that, I I already knew I was going to be cutting it close trying to get this up on Christmas Day. I knew I was going to have to be up really late. I knew that I would have to film into the wee hours of the morning. I knew I'd be editing for a very long time, but I wanted to do it again as a gift to you guys. So what I did, this was probably on the 15th, like December 15th. There's a dog barking. I think it was around December 15th or 16th. I looked up these items that I needed and those items, I'm not going to disclose it because I want it to come out on the show. When the show's releases, you guys will see what I'm talking about and I'll tell you guys after the show's done because I don't want to ruin anything or spoil anything. So, so I ordered these specific items, right? I ordered these items and I put them on two-day shipping. I put them on two-day shipping because I'm like, God, I gotta get these in as quickly as possible because I gotta get them in. I gotta set it all up, get everything I need, and then film it as quickly as possible so I can get done filming. I can edit and then by Christmas Day, the show will be ready up to go. Gotta commentate, gotta do all those things. So that's what I did, man. I ordered it up. I was waiting. I was like, alright, checking the tracking. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Three days go by and I'm like, dang, dude, like it should have been here. It's two-day shipping, right? That means a day passes, Maybe a second day passes, but usually on that third day, it should be there. So third day comes, doesn't show up. Fourth day comes, doesn't show up. I'm like, okay, what the hell's the big deal? So I look up the tracking and the item is sitting in a city 40 minutes from me in the same location. It's just sitting there. It said arrived at city location. I'll plug it in for you guys probably. Arrived in city location and it sat there forever. It sat there on the 19th, then the 20th, then the 21st, then the 22nd, then the 23rd. And I'm like, dude, what in the hell's going on? On. So I had two choices. These are my two choices. I could either wing it, like I stated, I could wing everything and make it like a crappy version of what I want it to look like and then rush the show up and get it anyway and still stay up to the wheel hours of the morning, still edit for a long time. Feel like dog-ish on the day of Christmas and Christmas Eve, so I would feel absolutely terrible from staying up late filming. I'd lose sleep. I'd probably be in a crankier mood because first of all, the show didn't come out like I wanted. The stuff didn't come in on time. I stayed up wee hours of the morning and the show didn't you know, end up being what I wanted. So I had to make an executive decision that I cannot post MDT Live on Christmas Day. It's just not going to work out. However, you know what makes me sick? What's today? What's today? Christmas Eve, right? Today's Christmas Eve? Look what showed up in the god dang mail, Brad. 
Look at this expected delivery date. I'll make it right on the screen there. I will make it right for you guys so you guys can see it. You guys see that? So that means I wait around forever. The, the package sits in a city 40 minutes from me and you can't call. I tried calling. You can't call the post office because the post office has got a million packages to deliver. Millions of people are calling them every day and giving them BS and you know, my pa where's my package? Where's my package? They can't. They're, they're not going to even answer the phone, Brad, because they know that there's a bunch of ish missing. They know they're delayed. They know that there's a bunch of stuff going on. So now I finally get the package that I need the day before the show's about to go up and it just can't be done. I didn't want to wing it. I didn't want it to turn out as a shittier product than I want it. I want it to look exactly how I want it to look in my brain on the script and I want it to be right. So what pisses me off is that it didn't work out and I did my damnedest. Usually I can I can flip over cars, Brad. I can, you know, I can do everything in my power. Like usually I can wing it and make it work. In this instant, it just wasn't going to work. For it to turn out exactly like I like and exactly how I want it to. I just could not wing it. I could not put a band-aid on it and make it work. I wanted to, but I just couldn't do it. And for that, I am pissed off. I'm so pissed off that, you know, USPS got backed up. They couldn't deliver the package. It finally is here now, which is excellent news for you and me because now I can take it. Probably, obviously not today. Today and tomorrow, I will not be touching the pick fed because I want to take this time to relax. But the day after Christmas, I can finish the show and I would expect it to be up before the 30th for sure. So that's what I'm going to plan on doing. Try to get the show up. It's going to be Christmas themed, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do, you, you you just gotta make it work, man. You gotta just make it work with what you got. But, uh, it pisses me off. It really does. Like, I was so hyped about it going up on Christmas Day. I wanted it to be this thing and it work all out, but it's not gonna. But it'll still be great. It'll still be good and worth the wait. And maybe, I know you guys, I, I plugged in the other day that there would only be two matches on the show because of time constraints. Well, maybe I can plug in a third match now because there's no time deadline now. I'm not on a rush, you know, trying to get the show up as fast as possible. So maybe I can plug in that third match. It's not guaranteed, but maybe that will end up working out but the package is here now thank christ i'm about to open it make sure it's all correct but hopefully everything turns out right and checks out but i didn't want to again i did not want to i didn't want to put a band-aid on it i wanted it to be the vision and the only way it could be the vision that i wanted for the show and to turn out exactly how i want is to wait on this package and plug everything in i am just i am sorry that it won't work out and i'm pissed off because i couldn't deliver it to you guys on christmas day when i wanted to but mdt live will be going up in at least a week right uh, a week or so or the next five six days and that is the good news and it's so sick it's so sick and i wish i had this earlier but the show's gonna be super badass but i appreciate you guys checking me out and listening to me rant a little bit and tell you guys a story hopefully get you guys checked out if you guys have been here to the end hit me with a that damn package down in the comment section below that damn package down in the comment section below i'd really appreciate it let me let me know that you guys checked it out to the very end but mm, that burns me up bro i've been like it stresses me out too because it's just super stressful. I did not want to have to wait. I didn't want the show to go up after Christmas. I didn't want to wing it so I was just pretty much just sitting. I'm stuck between a rock doing this. But here I am now. I escaped and I had to bite the bullet and make an executive decision to just wait it out. And it'll be worth it. It just sucks that it's not going up on Christmas. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did understand that. Video probably could have been like three minutes long, but it ended up being nine, ten minutes. I don't give a goofy god dang. But enjoy your Christmas Eve. I know that I'm gonna. And let's hope this package is right. I'd open it, but then it would blow everything. So I'm not opening it. I'm just gonna shut the hell up. Merry Christmas, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh yeah. Don't cross over that line! <laughs>